Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have an update for the Divi Responsive Helper. This is version 2.2. Let's take a look at everything that's new. So we're going to look at the blog post here. If you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be a link to this post in the description. So this update includes a lot of settings for, well, first of all, line height, and then we've added some like post count settings in the, the blog and gallery and portfolio and uh, the Woo products module. And then we've added a whole bunch of menu settings. Let's take a look here. Um, so the, the whole idea of this post count settings, it's, it was actually a feature request from a customer, which is again, a good reminder to, to please tell me when there's like a feature idea because I totally missed this. In any of your modules like the blog, the gallery, the, the portfolios, and the shop module. Now it's called the Wood Products module. They have like the number of items that show, but they do not have a responsive setting. So here's the thing like, let's say you have a gallery or a blog or anything, and there's you want like, you know, 12 or whatever items to show on desktop because it looks great. When you go on mobile and start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, you may not want that many. So this setting allows you to change that for different devices. It's like, it's like, this is brilliant in a way. It's like, wow, like I didn't, you know, it wasn't until someone pointed it out that, um, that I realized that. So I was really glad this is a really great setting. So we've added this setting in here. You can see the responsive settings, you enable them in theme options. And then, um, here they are in each of these modules. So it's really cool. The next uh, one is line height. And I'll just show you this in the website here. So first of all, this tab here used to be called uh, text sizes. Now it's just called typography. So just to point that out. So when this is enabled, we have our text sizes, but we've added this line height. So for each one, there's line height now. So the heading H1 line height, you know, in the Divi customizer, there's just one line height, but now you can set it differently for each of these uh, heading texts or for paragraph. So we also added these little divider lines just to, you know, visually break it up in here. So now here's everything for, you know, the H1 heading. So we've added that. We, we thought that made good sense to add it like this. All right. So again, the, these text sizes and line height settings obviously go hand in hand. These are the defaults unless you change them. If you modify it in a module or a preset, then that will take priority. This is a way to set it across all your modules at once because right now if you go do it in your text module, well then you've got to do it in your blur module and all your other modules for each, literally every setting. But here, it gives you the option to just do it instantly. All right, so those work together and then the, the rest of the bulk of this update is in the menu tab. Now we did some rearranging here and rethinking this. Now here's the first one is new enable settings in the menu module. So that kind of sets up the point that these, the rest of these settings here, other than this one, this one is that the item over here when you're in your menus, so in here on, on my menu items, I can say hide on desktop or tablet or phone. But so that's kind of like neither or like it's, yeah. But anyway, other than that, these settings here apply to the default header in Divi, okay? So think of theme options as for the menu as the default header. And then the rest of the settings are going to be in the menu module itself. And that's actually a big deal because in the menu module, you can put it in the theme builder and you can have each menu module different. Cause here, you know, if I say, um, show hamburger menu on desktop, it's going to show on the, the header. Um, let me just show you, uh, yeah, uh, there it is. You can see it's, it's on desktop. Um, but if, uh, let's see, put the hex beside it, that's a new setting. Um, collapse the mobile menu sub menus and I can put a different breakpoint in here. Um, but anyway, those apply to this default header. Now the rest apply, uh, adjust my screen here. The rest apply 
to the menu module. So in here we have this new toggle, Divi Responsive Helper. Um, I had these on, but um, basically the settings that you see here were similar to the, these back here. But the nice thing now is that these are all in the menu module. Like a good example is if I want to show an open menu on phones, a lot of times you want to have like just a couple items, whether it's your legal terms and conditions or whatever, or just a few menu items. You don't want there to be a hamburger menu for that. You want them to show open. And so you could do that. You might have another menu in your header, you know, that you want to uh, show a hamburger menu on desktop. You know, it's like, it's like you can pick and choose now with different modules. Now, as far as the actual new settings, some of these were, it was kind of confused because some were in the module before, but these are the newest ones to show the hamburger menu on desktop and then to add the word beside the hamburger menu. So that's like right here, I can replace that or right here. I can say whatever I want there. The other one is collapse mobile menu submenus. Now when you turn that on, it also makes this other option appear. Same in here, it works exactly the same. <laughs> there it is. And that doesn't have to be on. This one's optional. This one is just, you know, the, the mobile menu can get so long. Now this is a new setting. It's a, a highly requested feature. We had tutorials on this, but this setting now just instantly does it for you, right? This one, is well let me maybe I should just show you on our demo site everything is updated so let's go here collapse mobile menu sub menus and what I'm gonna do is scroll down here I have my demos here so this one oh I need to make these a white background so if I click these little icons on the side here it opens the sub menu see how they're collapsed this is how it will look um, with that open. Now this one will do it by clicking this parent item. See why I'm clicking on the actual menu item. That's the difference here when you have um, when you have this second item enabled. All right, so the second item here, and that's this item. It's making the parent item clickable. Now keep in mind this essentially takes away the link because now the there's no link. So you wouldn't want to have that page be something you wanted to link to. You would want it to just be used as like a placeholder. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and that's actually a lot um, with the whole, you know, the uh, number of items there per, per screen size and the line height and then all these menu changes. So that's version 2.2. I hope that you enjoy this update, and if you have feature requests, certainly let me know. Um, I continue to want to update this plugin regularly. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm running out of ideas, and then I find a whole bunch more, so um, definitely let me know the ideas you have to make this better, and we'll keep doing that. All right, well, we hope you enjoy this update and using our products.